नम सर्वे लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी द्वितीय भाग से सप्तमे वग्वर्धिनी वर्गे सर्वेशां स्वागत येनाक्षर सामनाय महेश्वरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणिन नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनि न्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धांगुण्याकोम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदीम अष्टाध्याय प्रथमाध्याय से प्रथम पाद अस्मा ये वक्त हस्त मुन्नय आदर्श महोदय एक ृद्धिदेचनमृद्धिदातुकेशाकल्यताशे विभाषाजसीथमचरमतयाथकतिपयने पूर्वपरावर दक्षिणोत्तरा पराधरा व्यवस्थायाम गकार से श्रवण न भवे अनांग नास्ति अनांग केवल नासिक वदति वा एक इति सूत्रम् अनुनासिक ऊकार अन्यत्व प्राण सम्यक यूर्धन्य फकार अस्त यहा विभाषा शन भेद किंचितभ्यास कर्त शक्य कस्ती उच्चारण द टंग हेज टू कर् स्लैटली बैक्वर्ड यू नो ट ठ सो वेर एवर द टंग टचस् फॉर ट the same place it has to go backward for the fra vibhasha vibhasha sha yeah. fra prayatnena kinchit abhyasena agachati samyak agre ah uh, sugandha nagini <coughs> avyayi bhavashta etita अनेकाशिव स्थानीवदादेशो नल विधौ अच परस्मी पूर्व विधौ न पदातर्वचर वरेयलोप स्वर सवर्णास्वर दीर्घजर्दिषु क्षम दीर्घजर्दिषु विर्वचने ची अदर्शन लोप प्रत्यय से लुक्षुप प्रत्यय लोपे प्रत्यय लक्षण ननुमतांग से अचोत्यादिटी अलोत्यात्पूर्व उपधा 
तस्थिते पूर्व तस्मादीतर स्वूप शब्द शब्द संज्ञा अणुदित सवर्ण से चा प्रत्यय तपरस्तत्ल आदिंत्यन सहेता एन विधिस्तंत वृद्धिस्तृम त्यदादी चाचान्देशे वृद्धिराव्यवी भाव प्रत्यय से पाणीय सूत्रपाठे प्रथमाध्याय प्रथम पाद सम्यक्तम सम्यगुच्चारित अग्रे लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी विद्या भगनी प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ विद्या क्षमता भगनी नमस्ते श्री सर्वनाम स्थान श्री इत उक्त संज्ञम सिया सुडनपुंसक स्वादिपंचवचना सर्वनामस्थान संज्ञा स्यु अक्लीब से स्वादिश स्वादिशर्वनामस्थने कप्रत्यवधिषु स्वादिषु सर्वनामस्थु असर्वनामस्थु पूर्व पदम सियाम यादिषु अजादिषु चप्रत्यवधिषु स्वादिषु असर्वनामस्थु पूर्व भसंज्ञम सियाडारादे का संज्ञा इत ऊर्ध्व कडारा कर्म धारे प्राक एक संज्ञा ज्ञेया या परा अनवकाशा च धातु सम्यक् बहु सम्यक् पठित यदा पठ्यते तत्र यद्यपि संहितया दीयते तथा वयम किंचित विच्छेद कृत्वा पठा चेत अवगत अस्मरपी अवगम्य अस्मगम्य श्रोतृ अभी अवगम्य सम्यक् पठित सुमिता भगनी नमस्ते शेषोघ्य सखी शेष इति स्पष्टार्थम ह्रस्व या उदित तदंत सखी वर्जम घि संज्ञम आंगो न स्त्रिया ंगो नस्त्रिया आंग इति टा संज्ञा हरिणा हरिभ्या हरिभि घेर्ति सुपि गुण हरए हरिभ्या हरिभ्य सम्यक् धन्यवाद अस्त अग्रे गर्वर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड डाउट अबउट दिस वीक से फ्रॉम अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल सो वॉट आई डू इज फॉर टूडे वी विल कंबाइन द 
summary and the doubts. So I will first summarize each lesson in English shortly. Uh, I will not be able to explain it fully, but then I hope uh, summary should suffice. And if you have any doubts specific to that lesson, please ask at that stage. Right? So we will take it stage by stage, probably three stages. One for the first lesson, the second for Akarantas, and the third for Harishabda. <coughs> so this is where uh, a lot of people seem to have had some doubts there are three samgnas right sarvanama sthanam padam and bham okay? so all three are just labels samgnas they don't do anything right so there are three labels which are given to different parts when we are dealing with a subanta uh, rupa siddhi okay? so as i had mentioned there are many shabdas in which this threefold division is very evident, right? So the first five forms, for example, if you take Rajan Shabda, so Raja, Rajanau, Rajanaha, Rajanam, Rajanau. So those five have a particular pattern. After that, if you look at Ragnyaha, Rajnya, Ragnye, Ragnyaha, Ragnyohu, Ragnyam, Ragni, Ragnyohu. So they all have one particular pattern. And in Rajabhyam, Rajabhihi, Rajabhyam, Rajabhyaha, Rajasu, we find a third pattern. Right? <coughs> so there are three patterns in many Shabdas. And these three patterns arise because there are Karyas specific to these three sections. It is as if Panini is dividing the 21 Pratyayas into three different groups so that in general they have similar karyas <coughs> it is not always not 100 percent but it is more prominently uh, seen in halanta shabdas it is also seen in many ajanta shabdas okay and how does he achieve it he achieves it by giving a different label just like in the screen what we have done is we have just given a different color right so the color is differentiating the three sets. Panini didn't have a color. He just gives a name to collect these so that <coughs> he can differentiate between the operations which apply for these. So the three samyas are Sarvanamasthanam, Padam and Bham. Okay. So the Sarvanamasthana samya, we have two sutras. It is different in Napumsakalinga and it is different in Pullinga, Strilinga. So when we take a Pullinga or Strilinga context, the first five Sut Pratyayas are called Sarvanama Sthana. As I mentioned in the video also, there is no relation between this Samnya and Sarvanama Samnya. They are two totally different things. There is no relation. So these five Pratyayas, get the tag called Sarvanama Sthana. In the remaining Pratyayas, Asarvanama Sthaneshu, right? So five have been removed among the remaining Pratyayas, right? And remember that the remaining two Samyas are not confined to Sup Pratyayas. The Sarvanama Sthana is a Samya which is found only in Sup Pratyayas, that is these five. Whereas the other two samyas, the bhasamya and padasamya, are used extensively even beyond the supratyayas. They are used in stri pratyayas, in tadhita pratyayas also. So that is why he says svadishu, starting from the su, etc. Su aujas, starting from there, it is a wide range of pratyayas covering the supratyayas, three pratyayas and tadhita pratyayas. So in all of these, whenever forgetting the sarvanama sthana, there are two things. The anga is called either pada or it is called bha. So when it is called pada, yachi bham. If the pratyaya starts with yakara or ach, ach is anything, any vowel. Uh, e, ural, etc. So if the pratyaya starts with yakara or ach, 
the prakriti part the pratipadika to which you have added pratyaya is tagged as bha whereas if the pratyaya starts with any other letter other than yach right so it can be any consonant other than yakara then the anga is called as pada so we have the threefold division in sup pratyayas if you go to other pratyayas like say if you take tadhita pratyayas or you take stri pratyayas there will be just two pada and bha in <coughs> sup you have an additional set called sarvanama sthana that is all is there okay all we need to identify is what is where is sarvanama sthana where do we have pada samya and where do we have bha samya and why do we need to identify because there are different karyas given for these say if a sutra says sarvanama sthane pare bhavati then you have to know where to apply it if the sutra says bhasya karyam bhavati you should know where it applies and padasya karyam bhavati you should know where you need to apply that is all there is nothing complicated in this it is just that three samyas because we are seeing the first time we may not be familiar but by the time we reach the middle of the subanta prakarana they will be very very obvious okay it is like say it samya <coughs> when we studied it for the first time halantyam and upadesha janana it may have been confusing what is it why is it doing that but then once we apply it in more and more sutras it becomes very obvious so similarly this is a <coughs> one of the basic concepts that we know in uh, that we need to know in subantas okay. when you move to napumsa kalinga okay so it is the same threefold division it is only that the color as you can see the pattern has changed only the jas and shas are called sarvanama sthana there the jas and shas get an adesha called shi so that she is called sarvanama sthana other than that sarvanama sthana any ajadi pratyaya will give the tag bh to the anga any non ajadi pratyaya will give the tag pada to the anga i have not colored the su and am because those pratyayas are deleted in all <coughs> napumsa kalinga shabdas su and am are deleted and therefore there is a we don't need to worry about it there because the pratyaya itself is not there there is no possibility of applying any of these samyas okay. now there were some questions which were already raised i will answer them beyond that if your question is still not answered please raise questions please ask questions only related to this lesson for now right if you have other questions i will take it later for now you can ask questions only related to this lesson sarvanama sthana bha and pada so one of the question was why so these samyas at all so as i said there are different prayojana any label or samya does not do anything by itself it is a label whenever it is called for by the name it will present itself and help the operation to happen for example if you have seen the this week's lessons the sarvanama sthana right so there is a for the sakhi shabda when followed by sarvanama sthana there is a nidvad bhava which is given so that is a prayojana for sarvanama sthana samya for bha samya we have already seen ato dhato if there is an akaranta dhatu the akara is deleted only when there is bhasamya then the pada samya there are lots of applications uh, like for example one which we have already seen is sasajusho ruhu right padantasya sasya rutvam bhavati right you have say rama s gachati then we do sasaj shoruhu you get ramar gachati then you get hashicha iti uttvam ramo gachati the rutva is followed by the uttva very similarly when you have a shabda like manas and bhyam right <coughs> manas is a sakaranta shabda 
you have manas and bhyam there is a sakara there the form we need is manobhyam how do we get manobhyam we get it by converting the sakara to rutva by sasajushoruhu and you convert it to ukara by hashicha but how do you do rutva there because you need a padasamya for rutva padantasya sasya so by the sutra swadishu asarvanamasthane the anga the manas gets pada right so once it is pada you have padante sakara therefore you can do the rutva there are many many karyas which depend on padasamya which also happen when followed by these pratyayas right bhyam bhis su etc that all of it needs padasamya and that is the prayojana the next question can we not apply these samyas to adanta pullingas that is say rama shabda or sarva shabda why are we seeing them here you can if you have rama bhyam it does get padasamya if you have say rama and uh, am it uh, the am has sarva namasthana samya if you have rama and uh, uh, os it does have bha samya the samgya is there but the samgya will not do anything you just have a label but that label is not called for in akaranta pullingas there is no operation which uh calls for any of these samyas we have seen there are different sutras none of the sutras said bhasya bhavati or sarvanamasthane bhavati or pade bhavati there was nothing we needed a sasajusho ruhu but wherever we needed it it was already padanta by suktiṃ antam padam that is why we didn't see this theoretically even in rama shabda you will have that label but the label is not significant there because there is no operation which can apply using these samyas there another question i got was what is the relation when you hear the bh and uh, you have like say pratyayas like bhyam is there any relation between the letter bh <coughs> bhakara and the samya bh there is no relation please remember the samgyas in paninian system are of different kinds right you have samgyas like dhatu pratipadika avyaya and so on which are longer samgyas which carry some kind of a meaning the word itself the samgya shabda may have some meaning for example the most popular one is avyayam na vyeti iti avyayam that which does not change is an avyaya that is what we call an anvartha samya that is the meaning of the term expresses what that term actually is there are some samyas where the samya shabda may have a meaning but that meaning may have no relation to what it means in vyakarana for example vriddhi so vriddhi in normal language means growth or expansion or whatever whereas in this particular uh, case that is within vyakarana it just means those three letters a i and a it does there is no relation between the meaning of the samya shabda in normal language and the uh, meaning it signifies within vyakarana shastra then there is a third kind of a samya where the samya shabda has no meaning it is purely a meaningless term like say if you uh, have done algebra you have terms like x y z it is just a label to something right even in coding you will call something you will give it a name where it does not have any meaning so all these samyas like say bh t ghu <coughs> all these gh he uses single letters just to keep it short so all those terms do not have any meaning so bha has no meaning it is not related to the letter bha it is just a tag <coughs> there was a question pullinge shas pratyayasya kim bhavati 
Because in Napumsaka Linga, Shas is Sarvanamasthana. In Pullinga, it is not. So it is non-Sarvanamasthana and it is an Ajadi Pratyaya. Therefore, uh, it uh, makes the Anga gets the Bhasamya. So whatever Karya depends on Bhasamya will apply in Shas. So Jas and Shas will vary because of this reason. Right? Even though the Pratyaya part is only us, there is a difference. If there is a Karya specific to Sarvanamasthana and Bha, those will vary. Okay. Another question I had was, there are so many different terms. Why? Why so many? Like we have Angam, we have Prakriti, we have Shabda, we have Pratipadika, we have Bha, we have Pada. All of which we seem to indicate the same part, right? Which is uh, somewhat true. <coughs> but remember, of these, see, Angam is a Samnya which is defined by Panini, right? So, Pratipadikam is a Samnya, Bham and Padam. These four are Samnyas, that is technical terms in Vyakarana, whereas Prakriti or Shabda are just general usage. When I say Prakriti, it just means the root word of <coughs> anything. That is, uh, Prakriti is generally used as opposite of Pratyaya. Whenever you have a Pratyaya, a suffix, you are at attaching that Pratyaya to something. That something is called Prakriti, a root word as a general Vyavahara. There is no Paninian Samgya called Prakriti. Right? So, Pranini does not give any operation for Prakriti as such. Similarly, a Shabda, when I say Rama Shabdaha, Hari Shabdaha. In general parlance, Shabda is used as a uh, somewhat synonymously with Pratipadika. But again, that is not a technical term. So, we do not have a Shabda in Vyakarana. Shabda can be sound, it can be any word, whatever, right? So, Shabda <coughs> and Prakriti are general terms used loosely to indicate something. Whereas, Anga, Pratipadika, Bha and Pada are very, very specific Samyas with exact definitions. We have to know the definition. So, we know what is Pratipadika, right? Arthavaradhatura Pratyayaha or Krit, Tadhita and Samasa. Those are Pratipadikas and nothing else. Whereas Anga is a very wide term. Anga is that to which you add a Pratyaya. Yasmat Pratyaya Vidhihi Tadadi. Right? So it is not just that to which you add a Pratyaya. It also encompasses something which may fall in between the Prakriti and Pratyaya. Right? So that is the difference between Prakriti and Anga. When we generally say Prakriti is that to which you add the Pratyaya, whereas Anga is a more exact, more workable definition of Prakriti. So it is that to which you add the Pratyaya. It also expands to include anything which may come in between. Anga is used very, very extensively in Vyakarana. In Anga, the Bham and Padam are somewhat like subsets of the Anga. So some Angas get an additional label called Bha and some Angas get an additional label called Pada. So if the Pratyaya happens to be the Swadi Pratyaya, and starts with yakara or ach, then the anga will be called bha. If it is something else, starting with any consonant other than yakara, the anga will be called pada. So, bham and padam are two kinds of angas in a very specific context. And all four samyas have very specific purposes and karyas in vyakarana. So, a karya which is told for Bha will apply only if the label Bha is there, right? And something told for Pada will apply only if that label is there. We have multiple labels. <coughs> the same thing can have multiple labels. 
right say for example when i have something like vishwapa so i have uh, say the word uh, the pratipadika vishwapa which is followed by the pratyaya like shas then this particular part vishwapa qualifies for multiple terms it is an anga it is a pratipadika it is a bha right all three labels are there it is like you have label 1 label 2 and label 3 right so any operation which is looking for one of these labels can come and apply here right if the other conditions are satisfied so those are the questions i think i had now other than these if you have any there is no sup pratyaya starting from y i hope i have understood it right yes there is no sup pratyaya which starts with y okay in sup pratyaya context we have ajadi and haladi only the yakara comes to play in tadhita pratyayas correct in say rama shabda if you have the ngair yah you can you know have a yakaradi pratyaya but then the bhasamya does not have any role in rama shabda and therefore it is not significant we do not have any such pratyayas in sup it comes to play in tadhita pratyayas why can't we consider parasamya as utsarga and bhasamya as apavada yes it is i mean niravakashatva that is what we said bhasa padasamya is utsarga and bhasamya is apavada but when you are talking about utsarga and apavada in general it is only for vidhis because as we saw just now the same thing can have multiple labels right generally for samyas you don't need to have an utsarga apavada bhava because you can have this samya also that label also what is wrong right say if you take something like ch it has a, it is an avyaya it is a pratipadika it is a pada there are multiple samyas which you can have so we don't have utsarga apavada for samyas except under the adhikara of akadara deka samya the akara akadara deka samya is posing a limitation on of one samya so there you need to decide which samya so in that case pada samya is utsarga and bha samya is apavada sarvanamasthaneshu prakriti bhagasya pada samya bha samya shakyate va na va na bhavati because both the definitions of pada and bh specifically say asarva namasthane sarva namasthana samya pratyayasya asti chet angasya bh samya api na bhavati pada samya api na bhavati why she is given to pratyaya and the other two to anga i assume the question is why is sarva namasthana given to anga and the other two given to uh pratyaya uh, sorry sarvanamasthana given to pratyaya and the other two given to anga uh there is not much of a difference but then there are some karyas which are given for the pratyaya itself based on the sarvanamasthana samya okay whereas in the other case the karya is for the anga bhasya angasya or padasya karyam bhavati the karya is usually for the anga part whereas for sarva namasthana there are some karyas for the sarva namasthana and some for the prakriti when followed by the sarva namasthana pratyaya can you please explain again in napumsakalinga slide we will get this when we get to napumsakalingas that is why i did not put a slide in the main lesson and i don't want to go into details now because we need to understand what happens when we get to napumsakalingas the su and am pratyayas are deleted because of they are deleted there will be pada samya by supting antam padam whatever remains say you have dadhi you have dadhi su su is deleted and you are left over with dadhi which gets pada samya by supting antam padam similarly dadhi and am the pratyaya is deleted and dadhi remains it gets pada samya by 
Suptingantam padam. None of these three sutras have any role in those two pratyayas. Okay, so there was an error in the slides in Akadara Deka Samya instead of Swadishwa Sarvanamasthane. The slide had Sarvanamasthane Cha Sambuddha. It was an error, purely Anavadhana Vashat. I will correct it. So, in Marut Bhyam. Can we make this sandhi by jalam jash jashi as marut is padan, apadanta? Marut is not apadanta. It has padasamya by uh, swadishva sarvanamasthane and you have to apply jalam jash jashi. Uh, sorry, jalam jashonte. Right? Jalam jashonte is in 8.2 and jalam jash jashi is in 8.4. So jalam jash jashi is asiddha. Padante jalam jash bhavati iti padantatva jalam jashonte ityanena eva jashtvam bhavati. See, in Marudbhyam, <coughs> whichever you apply, whether it is padanta or apadanta, you will end up with the same form. But for other cases, for example, we saw the Manobhyam, where you need a rutva, it can apply only under padanta. Therefore, <coughs> it has padasamya. Once it has padasamya, you have to apply jalam jashonte. Why do we call it yajadi? Y uh, there are two things there. Ajadi is achi adihi asya. Yajadi is yachi adihi asya. What is yachi? Yucha achicha yachi. Yakara plus ach is yachi. Yachi adihi asya saha yajadihi. What is the meaning of kadara? In this particular sutra, there is no meaning. There is a sutra called kadaraha karmadharaye. So it just identifies that sutra. So till that sutra, there is the ekasamnyadhi kara. In Suptingantam Padam, when do you exactly call it a Padasamya? After you add the Pratyaya or before adding the Pratyaya? After you add the Pratyaya. I mean, before adding, it is not Subanta. Subanta is Supu Ante Yasya Tat. That which has a Supratyaya at the end is Subanta. So once you add, say, uh, Rama and Su, the Samudaya Ramas is called Pada. In Akadara Deka Samya, what does A mean? A is an avyaya which is used in the sense of Abhividhi and Mariyada. That is a limit. When we say A Setu Himachalam Bharatam. So till Setu in the south and till Himachala in the north. It is a avyaya which indicates a limit. Till where? So here it is A Kadara. Till Kadaraha Karmadhara. So I hope this lesson should be clear. Let us move ahead. The Akaranta Pullinga Shabdas. <coughs> Akaranta Pullinga Shabdas are of two kinds. One is where we are deriving it from Adhatu an Akaranta Dhatu. The other one is where there is no Nishpati. It is just some proper name which does not have a derivation like Avyutpanna. Right. Akaranta Pullinga Shabdas. Please remember in Strilingas we have totally different. We have the Pratyaya, Stap, Dap and Chap. Akaranta Pullinga Shabdas are derived either of these ways. So when they are derived from a Dhatu. Right? So there is the Sutra Ato Dhatu which comes into play. Which says if the Dhatu if there is a dhatu with an akara, that is akaranta dhatu, and now the anga has bhasamya, the akara is deleted. So where do we have bhasamya? So starting from shas, any ajadi pratyaya, the anga is called bha. And therefore, in all those cases, we delete the akara. Whereas if the shabda is underived, <coughs> there is no vyutpati, 
then atodhato will not apply which means the akara is there if the akara is there and you have an ajadi pratyaya what happens is a normal swarasandhi it can be savarna dirgha or vriddhi or whatever so that will happen or guna so that is the only difference between the two types we saw vishwapa in one case and haha in the other case everywhere else it is normal say sarvanamasthana there is no special karya so you have uh, supratyaya and sambuddhi you just have rutva and visarga in au we just have vriddhi in jas we have savarna dirgha and am we have purva rupa in other cases you don't have any specific karya right so this is vishwapa so if you have bha samya so the key difference is only when there is bha samya so the a is deleted so you have vishwap as of the pratyaya you get vishwapaha vishwap a vishwapa vishwap a vishwape vishwap e vishwapi that's all nothing else special as if you go to haha in the same cases you will not have the akara lopa so in shas you have prathamayoh purva savarnah followed by tasmat chasonah pumsi then you have things like savarna dirgha vriddhi guna etc atah iti akarantasya taparakaranam bhavitum arhati va iti prashnah akarasya taparakaranam napekshyate because the dirgha itself excludes rasva and pluta right so akara we don't need taparakarana technically but generally when panini refers to akara he uses takara uchcharanartha because it is much easier for the form if you he just takes a and makes a form like for example he takes ni and then the saptami is nau so hari harau if you know a ikaranta shabda you can guess the form but if you just take akara and you have to give the shashti of akara then it will be ah right a plus as you do a savarna dirga and you get ah where it is very difficult to understand that it is a shashti of akara so yatra yatra <coughs> paninina akarasya nirdeshah kartavya samanyatah ucharanartham takarasya yojanam kriyate usually he adds the takar we will move ahead the next one was the hari shabda right so hari shabda i think was fairly easy it is a representative shabda for ikarantas so you just have some special sutras so the guna is very important guna being ikarasya ekara so jasi pare jasi cha ityanena guna bhavati sambuddhau hrasvasya guna ityanena guna bhavati then you have the angonastriyam for ta is replaced by na and then ghair niti iti niti pratyaye guna so the key factor in hari shabda is the ghi samya ghi is again another meaningless label right the ghi does not mean anything <coughs> it is a label which is given to hrasva ikaranta ukaranta shabdas so in all three lingas you will have ghi samya for hrasva ikaranta and hrasva ukaranta shabdas based on ghi samya we have three karyas which happen angonastriyam replaces ta with na ghair niti gives a guna to the anga when followed by the nit pratyayas and we have one more acha ghehe which we will see in saptami ekavachana right the moment we have ghi associated to that you need to remember these three karyas and wherever there is ghi samya these three karyas will happen the jasicha and hrasvasya guna do not depend on ghi samya they just need a hrasva right so there is a difference <coughs> which we will see when we move to uh, sakhi shabda and pati shabda okay why hrasvasya guna cannot be used in uh, dvitiya bahuvachanam or prathama bahuvachanam hrasvasya guna has the anuvritti of 
संबुद्ध संबुद्ध पर ह्रस्वस्य गुण भवति सो इफ वी लुक एट द अनुवृत्ति ऑफ द सूत्र सो ह्रस्वस्य गुण हाज द अनुवृत्ति ऑफ संबुद्ध सो इट गिव्स अ गुण ओनली वेन फॉलोड बै द संबुद्धि जसी च गुण भवति सो टू स्पेसिफाई दट द गुण इज नीडेड फॉर जस ऑलसो वी नीड द सूत्र जसी च सो पाणिनी यूज टा इन वन प्लेस एंड आंग इन अनदर yes he does it is one of the few places where he doesn't uh, use his own term he uses ang so it is not only this there is one more sutra also where he uses the ang instead of the ta we don't know why jasi cha hrasvasya gunaha or is it just gunaha hrasvasya gunaha जसी च हाज द अनुवृत्ति ऑफ ह्रस्वस्य गुण जसी परे ह्रस्वस्य गुण भवति ओके वी विल मूव अहेड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द प्रश्नोत्तरी सो वी विल मूव इनटू टू वाग्वर्धि ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाज भसंज्ञा परसंज्ञा विषय एक संज्ञाधिकार प्रयोजन शिवसुब्रमण्यम महोदय श्रूयते वा भगिनी श्रूयते प्रथम अध्याय से चतुर्थ पादे प्रथम सूत्र आकड़ाराधय का संज्ञा इतम अधिकार सूत्रमस्ति अस्य नाम एक संज्ञा अधिकार अस्य व्याप्ति त्रिषु पादेशु बवति प्रथमा अध्याय अध्याय चतुर्थ पादाद आरभ्य द्वितीयाध्याय द्वितीय पाद समाप्ति पर्यंतम प्रचलति अस्य पादस्य अंते कडारा कर्मधारये इति सूत्रमस्ति अतः तावत् सूत्र पर्यंतम एक संज्ञा अधिकार अस्य समाप्ति पर्यंतम एकस्य शब्दस्य द्वयोहो संयोहो सत्योहो अस्य शब्दस्य परसूत्रेण उक्ता संज्ञा एव बवति पूर्वसूत्रेण उक्ता संज्ञा न बवति एवं अस्मिन् अधिकारे एकस्य एव संज्ञा न तु एकाद अधिक अस्मिन् अधिकारे स्वादिशु असर्वनामस्थाने इति पदसंज्ञा विदायक सूत्रम यचिबम इति बसंज्ञा विदायक सूत्रम च क्रमेण वर्तते सुप्रत्यादारभ्य कप्रत्यय पर्यंतम विहिताः प्रत्ययाः स्वादिशु अंतर्भवन्ति सर्वनामस्थान संज्ञा विरहितस्थाने एतेशु प्रत्ययेशु परेशु अंगस्य पदम स्याद इति पदसंज्ञा विदायक सूत्रार्थः एतेशु प्रत्ययेशु यकारादि अजादि च प्रत्ययेशु अंगस्य बसंज्ञम स्याद इति बसंज्ञा विदायक सूत्रार्थः पदसंज्ञा बसंज्ञा च सु स्त्री तद्दिद प्रत्ययेशु भवति सर्वनामस्थान संज्ञा नाम कि सुडनपुंसक सूत्रेण पुं स्त्रीलिंग सुत्प्रत्याहारे निर्दिश्य सुऊ जस् अम ऊट इति पंचवचन प्रत्ययु सर्वनामस्थान संज्ञा विधीय अतः सुप्रत्यु एताहा सत्याद आरभ्य सुप्रत्यय पर्यत षोडसा प्रत्ययु परेशु सर्वनामस्थान संज्ञा न बवति स्वादिशु असर्वनामस्थाने इति सूत्रेण सर्वनामस्थान भिन्नेशु स्वादिशु परेशु प्रकृतिभागस्य पदसंज्ञा बवति एतेशु सर्वेशु परेशु अंगस्य पदसंज्ञा बवति चेदपि तत्र नवसु स्थलेशु अस् आ ये ओस् आम इति अजादि प्रत्ययाः भवन्ति इत्यतः तेषु परेषु 
अंगस्य बसंया विधीयते यचिबम इति सूत्रेण अतः एकविंशति सुप्रत्ययेषु परेषु पञ्चसु स्थलेषु प्रत्ययेषु सर्वनामस्थानम् इति उक्तम् नवसु स्थलेषु बम् इति शेषं सप्तसु स्थलेषु पदम् च इति अंगस्य अथवा प्रकृतिभागस्य संज्ञा उक्तमस्ति यत्र यत्र बसंज्ञायाः अवकाशः तत्र सर्वत्र पदसंज्ञायाः अपि अवकाशः अस्ति उदाहरणं पश्यामः ओस् प्रत्ययः असर्वनामस्थाने भवति इत्यतः अंगस्य पदसंज्ञा भवति ओस् इति अजादि प्रत्ययः अतः एतस्य प्रकृतिभागस्य बसंज्ञा अपि बसंज्ञा यत्र न सम्भवति तत्र पदसंज्ञा एव भवति बसंज्ञा परा निरवकाशा च इति कारणात् बसंज्ञया पदसंज्ञायाः बाधः भवति अपि च एकसंज्ञा अधिकार अधिकारे विद्यमानसंज्ञायाः बसंज्ञायाः च प्रयोजनानि बहूनि सन्ति धन्यवादः बहु सम्यक् बहु स्पष्टतया सिस्टमेटिकली उत्तरं प्रस्तुतमस्ति बहु उत्तमं धन्यवादः द्वितीयः प्रश्नः विश्वपाहाः शब्दयोः कुत्र कुत्र भेदः इति सीता नमस्ते भगिनी श्रूयते वा हा विश्व आकारात पुलिंग प्रातिपदिक विश्व पाति विश्व परमात्मा इति अर्थः कृत्तदित समासाश्च इति सूत्रेण समासत्वा प्रातिपदिक संज्ञा प्राप्नोति संज्ञा प्राप्नोति हाहा इति अपि आकारात पुलिंग प्रातिपदिक हाहा इति गंधर्व विशेष से संज्ञा अव्युत्पन्न प्रातिपदिक अतः अर्थवद अधातु प्रत्यय प्रातिपदिक सूत्रेण प्रातिपदिक संज्ञा प्राप्नोति द्वयोहो प्रातिपदिकयो सर्वनामस्थाने समान रूपाणि भवन्ति सौ संबुद्धौ च ऋत्व विसर्गौ भवति औ प्रत्यये वृद्धि जसि सवर्ण दीर्घ भवति अमि पूर्वरूपं भवति शसादौ हलादि प्रत्यये परे अपि समान रूपाणि इत्युक्ते न किञ्चित् कार्यं भवति वर्णयोजनेन पदं प्राप्नुमः रूपेषु भेदः तु शसादौ अजादि प्रत्यये परे एव भवति आतो धातो इति सूत्रेन अनुवृत्ति सहितं सूत्रम् अस्ति आतः धातोः भस्य लोपः सूत्रार्थः आकारांत धातोः भ संज्ञकस्य अंगस्य अंतिम आकारस्य लोपः भवति उदाहरणं स्वीकृत्य पश्यामः चेत् विश्वपा अधिक शस् इति पश्यामः चेत् तत्र आतोः धातोः इति सूत्रेण अंगस्य अंतिमवर्णस्य लोपः एवं कृत्वा विश्व विश्व अधिक अस् योजयित्वा विश्व पह इति प्राप्नुमः समानं विश्व पा टा तृतीया एकवचनस्य टा प्रत्ययः पश्यामः चेत् यचि भम् इति सूत्रेण अंगस्य भ संज्ञा भवति अतः विश्व अधिक आ आतो धातोः इति सूत्रेण अंगस्य अंतिमवर्णस्य लोपः योजयित्वा विश्व पा इति प्राप्नुमः तथैव विश्वपे विश्वपः अन्यरूपाणि यत्र भ संज्ञा भवति वयं प्राप्नुमः परन्तु हा हा इति धातु अन्तः न धातु अन्तः न अतः आतो धातोः इति सूत्रेण 
अंगस्य अंतिम आकारस्य लोपः न भवति अतः रूपं पश्यामः चेत् खा अधिक शस् तत्र प्रथमयो पूर्वसवर्ण तस्माशो न पुंसी पुंसी अनतर पदात सूत्रेण हाहा प्राप्त सनतर टा प्रत्यय त्र हाहादीर्घम सग्रे हाहा त्र वृद्धि हाहा अस् सवर्णदीर्घ हाहा ओस् त्र वृद्धि हाहा आम सवर्णदीर्घ हाहा ई गुण धातोहोत्रेण भेद क्रियते धातो आकारश्चे त्र भसम सत्याम आकार लोप अन्यथा तो लोप न अस्तु अग्रिम घिसम्या तत्र तस्य प्रयोजना च महालक्ष्मी भगिनी नमस्ते भगिनी घिसम्या विधायक सूत्र शेषो घिसकी प्रथमाध्याय चतुर्थ पाद सप्तम सूत्र अस्ति अस्कार नदी संज्ञा विधायक सूत्र अतः यत्र नदी त्र नदी संज्ञा सुबंत प्रकरण लिंग प्रवर्तते पति शब्द नीसम्या धन्यवाद अग्रिम सप्ताह तीम त्रीन कार्याण घिसम्याश्रित प्रवर्तंते सम्यक् स्पष्ट प्रतिपादित अक प्रश्न अस्त प्रश्न पढ़ा कोई उत्तर दातुम शक्नोति वाइति चिंतायाम हरिशब्दा चतुर्थी विभक्त ये प्रत्यये शेषो घ्य सखी घिसम्या घिसम्याधारेण घेर्ति गुण क्रियते किंतु घिसम्या आकड़ारादेका संज्ञा अस्ति अस्मिन् अधिकारे परसूत्रमस्ति इति यचिभम इति सूत्रम तो प्रथमाध्याय चतुर्थ पदे अष्टादश सूत्रमस्ति शेषो घ्य सखी तो सप्तम सूत्रम तरी अत्र परत्वात् भसम्या भवेत् किल कथम घिसम्या एव भवति इति समर्थनं कथम कर्तुं शक्नुमः इति प्रश्न प्रश्न अवगत वा हरि ए ये प्रत्यय त्र शेषो घ्य सखी इतने प्राप्ति अस्ति एवं यचिभम अजादि प्रत्यय भसम्या प्राप्ति अस्ति तरी का संज्ञा भवे उभे अभी संज्ञे आकड़ारादेका संज्ञा तरी अत्र घिसम्या भवेद्वा भसम्या भवेद्वा घिसम्या 
ಭಸಮ್ಯೋರ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಭಸಮ್ಯ ಪರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕಿಲ ಘೀ ಸಂಯಾವಿಧಾಯಕ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸಪ್ತ ಭಸಮ್ಯ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶ ತರ್ಹಿ ಅತ್ರ ಭಸಮ್ಯ ಭವೇತ್ ಕಿಲ ಇದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಕಸ್ಯಾಪಿ ಕಿಮಿ ಚಿಂತನ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ವಿಷಯ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಭಗಿನಿ ವರುಣ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ಯು ಟು ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವರುಣ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಘೀ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪಾದಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಭಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇ ಪರೇ ಭವತಿ ಅತಃ ಘೀ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಇವ ಭವೇತ್ ಅತ್ರ ಭಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಅಪಿ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪಾದಿಕ ಭಾಗಸ್ಯವ ಕಿಲ ಭವತಿ ಕೆಂತು ಕೆಂತು ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ನಾಪೇಕ್ಷತೆ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪಾದಿಕ ಮಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷ ಅಂತರಂಗತ್ವಾಂಗ ಪರ ನಿತ್ಯ ಅಂತರಂಗ ಅಪವಾದ ಉತ್ತರೋತ್ತರ ಬಲೀಯ ಇತ್ಯಸ್ತಿ ಅತಃ ಅಂತರಂಗತ್ವಾ ಘಿಸಮ್ಯಾತಿ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅನ್ಯತ್ ಕಿಮಿ ಚಿಂತಯು ಶಕ್ನುಮಃ ಶುಭದ ಭಗಿನಿ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅತ್ರ ಭಸಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಟನ್ ಸೊ i have something in my mind i'm just checking what else is also there all these are correct very good arguments so one is antaranga <coughs> so there's a question why is antaranga relevant see in any case where we are trying to decide conflict resolution we have para nitya antaranga and apavadas right so when you say para when i say akadara deka samya it means that you have to apply only one so when you are saying only one there is a conflict here in this case between ghi and bha so which one if you take para you have to go with bha but antaranga is always stronger than bhasamya so since <coughs> ghi samya is antaranga it will overrule the paratva is one answer bhasamya yah prayojanam nasti is another answer anything else can we think of maithili magini magini shruyate va a shruyate a to da to ho iti basanya hai prayojana masti kele the lopah bhavati hm atra a akaranta nasti hari shabda ikaranta hasti ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ Isanya is given to only Ikaranta and Ukaranta Pratipadikas. Uh, hmm. Basanya is not like that. 
it can take uh, i mean in all yajadi prateshu pareshu basanya right so bhasamya is wider where ghisamya is specific to ika <laughs> ukara okay samay ke baad apurva mahade bhagini घी संख्या घी संज्ञा सर्वनाम स्थाने स्वृत्ति सत्यम अदानी हरी एत्र घी संज्ञा भवेद भसम्या भवेद प्रश्न सम्यक अंतरंग भसम्याया प्रयोजन नास्ति अभी चम चिंतनीय हईपथेटिकली यदि अत्र भसम्या एव भवती चिंतायाम हरी एत्र टा प्रत्यय टांगे नसी नस्नी सर्वेशु स्थलेशु यदि परत्वाद भसम्या एव भवती तरी घिसम्या निरवकाशा अभी भवती घिसम्याश्रिता कानि कानि कार्या दृष्टा घेर्ति आंगो नास्क्रिया एवं अच्छे त्रीणी कार्या दृष्टा त्रीणि अभी कार्या अजाद प्रत्यय परे एव भवन्ति तत्रैव विहिता यदि एतेशु स्थलेशु भसम्या प्रवर्तते इति वदामः तर्हि घिसम्या व्यर्था निरवकाशा अभी भवति so ghisamya will not serve any purpose because everywhere you have if you say there is bhasamya you cannot apply ghair niti anywhere because all nit pratyayas are ajadi pratyayas and bhasamya will be there <coughs> you cannot apply ango nastriya anywhere because ang is a ajadi pratyaya and uh, you know the there is uh, it has bhasamya similarly in ni okay it is also an ajadi pratyaya so all prayojanas of ghisamya will be taken away by bhasamya if you are going with bhasam okay. so niravakashatvam api asti ghisamnyaya so samya mulakam karyasya samya bhavati kintu tat prayuktam karyam trini sutrani api <coughs> vyarthani bhavanti so ekasya eka eva samnyasyat ya para anavakasha cha अस्तर अग्रे गा प्रश्न अस्थित एक वक्त पंचशब्दा जस् प्रत्यय परे किं रूपम भवती पूर्ण प्रक्रिया नापेक्ष्य मुख्यम सूत्र किं इत्येव अपेक्ष्य सो इट इज इनफ इफ यू टेल मी द फॉर्म एंड द मेन सूत्र विच विल अप्लाइ देर Right. So things like sasa jushoru ho karvasana yoru sasa jiniya are not required. What is the main factor which helps in deriving that rupa? So you have just so Rama, Sarva, Vishwapa, Haha, and Hari. Just pratyaye pare kim bhavati? Praveena mani me. Praveena bhagi me. You have to click on the microphone to unmute yourself. Yes, Sandeep Shah, who are you? Rama ha, Sarve Vishwapa ha, ha ha ha, Hari ya ha. Samyak. So Rama ha, itya trakim sutram. Ra Ramaha will come by. Oh, 
not immediately recollecting. No problem. Prathama yoho purva savarana. Prathama yoho purva savarana. Yeah. Hmm. So Rama ha ityatra prathama yoho purva savarana ha ityanena purva savarana dirkha. Ha. Sarva jas. I'm not recollecting immediately. That's my problem. No, 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 no. no take your time. You can tell. It's okay. Jasaha. Jasashi. Jasashi. Ityanena shi adesha. So you get sarva e sarve. Ah. Uh -huh. Next. Vishwapa and Jas. <coughs> Akasavarane yeah. dirkha. Ah. Akasavarane dirkha. Right? So Vishwapa and us, because of dirkha jasicha, we will not have uh, <coughs> Prathamayo Purva Savaranaha. Instead, we have Akasavarane dirkha. Then Haha Akasavarane dirkha. Ah, Tatrapi Akasavarane dirkha. Because it is dirkha uh, jasicha. Ah, then Hari and Jas. Jasicha. Jasicha ityanena gunaha bhavati. Right? Hare as, then echo yavayavaha, harayas, harayaha. Okay. Samyak. Ta pratyaye kim kim karyam bhavati. Savita Bhagini. Sorry. Savita. Hello. Bhagini, yeah. Ashruyateva. Uh, Ashruyate. Plus. Plus ta Ramena Bhavati Vishwapa plus ta Vishwapa Bhavati Ha plus ta Hari plus ta Harina Bhavati Ramena Rupam Tang Nasina Saminat. Sutrena Bhavati Sarva Sarvena Rupam Api Samana Sutrena Bhavati Hello Vishwapa Ishwapa Ato Dhato Ho Sutrena Vishwapati Ha 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 shabda se api akasavarne ni dhir kaha sutre na bhavati harina akasavarne dhir kaha anantara harina iti at kupangwan numunyo ho nastriyam ango nastriyam ango nastriyam harina there is a small typo here so ramena sarvena ityatra tanga singa saminatsya ha ityanena ina desha ha ta ityasya ina ityadesha ha Ad Gunahaiti Gune Kratena, Atve Krate, Ramena, Sarvena, Vishwapa A Ityatra, Ato Dhato Hoitianena, Akara Lope, Vishwapu A Vishwapa Haha Ityatra tu, Lopahana Bhavati, Akasavarne Dirkaha Ityanena Savarna Dirke Haha Iti Bhavati. So Rupam Samanam kin to Sutram Hinnam, Prakriya Hinna Hari A Ityatra tu. Angona Stria Mithyanena, Na Adeshaha, Tataha at Kupwang Mivayapi, Ithyanena, Natvam, Harina Atra Prashnaha Hari Raswasya Gunaha, Raswasya Gunaha iti Sutrena, Sambudho Pare Eva Gunaha Bhavati, Jessica iti Sutrena Eva, Jessi Pare Gunaha Bhavati, Tatra Pura Savarana Dirkaha, Na Bhavati, Jessica iti Anga Karya Masti. Ataha guna eva bhavati, purva savarnaha na bhavati. Astu Agre Ne pratye, Chaturthe kavachane, Kim 
ரூபம் மஸ்தேமாய The sutra is Sarvanamnahasmai. Samyak, Sarvanamnahasmai. Mm. The next one is Vishwapa plus Nye, Vishwapi. Mm. I, I don't remember the sutra for this one. Ato dhato ho. Ittya re na. Ha he. Okay. Mm. The next one is Ha he. Mm-hmm. Maybe this may also be uh for i mean this may also have the same sutra no this Hato, is not Hato. a dhatu this is not oh. a dhatu so ha okay. ha a a plus a will become so how will it become ha he it will not become ha he it will become ha hai ha ha oh, plus sorry. a by vriddhi rechi ha hai oh. ha. okay the next one is haraye mm um the the sutra probably for this may be vriddhi rechi i'm not sure hari e gherngiti ityane na guna hare e and then echoyavayavah haraye okay okay so we will move ahead that's it for uh, today the exercises for the last portion we just have about 5 minutes i will quickly try to cover this is something which uh, many people asked about jaraya jara sanyata rasyam uh, we will not be <coughs> able to go into full detail kintu kinchi deva shastra vicharah tatra yah asti kinchi deva uchyate ஜராயாக ஜரசன்யதரசியாம் பூர்வத்தனாத்திய விஷய அஜாதோ விபக்தோ ஜராசப்தசிய ஜரசாதேஷ விதீயத்தே நிர்ஜர அம் தரசாதேஷே கிருத்தே நிர்ஜரசம் இதுவதி எத்தோஹி பிரத்தய அஜாதி அஸ்தி ஆதேஷ நாஸ்திச்சேத் நிர்ஜரம் அமிபூர்வ இத்தன பூர்வரூபம் பவதி இதம் து ஸ்பஷ்டமஸ்தி கிளேஷ நாஸ்தி கிந்து நிர்ஜரசப்தாத்யே பரே அதோஸ் இத்தனேஸ்பிரத்தயசாதேஷ கிரியே இதம் அத்த அஜாதி விபக்தி அஸ்தி தரி பிரத்தய அஜாதி ஜராயாஜரசன்யதரசியாம் இத்தன ஜரசாதேஷி வாஷ்ன கிமுச்சே ஜராசப்தசிய ஜரசாதேஷ அஜாதோ விபக்தோ அஜாதித்வம் அஸ்தி ஸ்தானிவத்வேன சுப்தம் பவதி ஸ்தானிவத்வேதா அல்விதோ எவதி அத்த அஜ் அஜாதித்வம் ஸ்தானிவத்வேன நாபேட்சே யூ டோன் நீட் ஸ்தானிவத்வ ஃபார் மேக்கிங் இட் அன் அஜாதி இட் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி தேர் இன் த பிரத்தய யூ ஓன்லி நீட் த விபக்தி சம்ய right which you can get from sthani vadbhava so once you do the ais adesha can we do jaras adesha optionally so if we do you will get nirjarasaihi and nirjaraihi two forms <coughs> is the question right so atra uttaram na bhavati iti bhashyakarasya uttaram asti kimartham na bhavati iti uh, samarthayitum tena eka பரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்தரிபாஷாத்
एवं चतुर्थी अपि काचित् परिभाषा तत्र कार्यं करोति लघु सिद्धांत कौमुद्यां तस्याह विषये नोच्यते सो इट इज एक्चुअली स्लाइटली एडवांस्ड तथापि प्रश्नः यदा अस्ति किञ्चिदिव जानीमः इति कारणेन उच्यते सो अगेन टू क्लारिफाई व्हाट एवर इज डिस्कस्ड इन ज्ञानवर्धिनी इज प्योरली एक्स्ट्रा इट इज ओके इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड and it is perfectly okay to not remember at this stage so it is just for those who want to know more so especially for exams etc you don't have to worry about it we will not ask anything from this so it is just to know more to kindle more interest in the shastra so what does this paribhasha say it's a very interesting paribhasha sannipata lakshanah vidhihi animittam tad vighatasya sannipatah ityukte kim इति चेत् द्वयो संबंध सो संबंध एन असोसिएशन ऑफ टू थिंग्स इज कॉल्ड सन्निपात सो सन्निपात लक्षण विधि द्वयो संबंध आश्रित्य प्रवर्तम विधि सो एनी ऑपरेशन विच हैपन डिपेंडिंग ऑन एन असोसिएशन बिटवीन टू थिंग्स इज कॉल्ड सन्निपात लक्षण विधि तद तद अत्र सन्निपातः स्वीक्रियते संबंध विघात इज टू ब्रेक सो देर वॉज एन असोसिएशन बिटवीन ए एंड बी वी हेव परफॉर्म सम ऑपरेशन बेस्ड ऑन दिस असोसिएशन नौ दिस ऑपरेशन विच वी डिड बेस्ड ऑन इट विल नॉट ब्रेक द ओरिजिनल असोसिएशन विच वॉज इट्स आश्रय so it is based on a you know a general principle of gratitude right so somebody has you know come up based on or relying on some base so you don't hurt your base or you don't uh, you are not ungrateful by destroying what helped you come up or to be that is the general principle of sannipata lakshano vidhihi तद्घात अवती तस्य संबंध नाश से कारण नवती सामषाया अर्थ अश्यामस्त निर्जर शब्द भिस्प्रत्यय अदंत अंगं भिस्प्रत्यय अनयो सन्नीत अस्त अनयो संबंध आश्रित्य ऐस आदेश so ais adesha is by atobhisa ais atobhisa ais to operate needs two things it needs an adanta anga and it needs a bhis pratyaya so this sutra it depends on the sannipata sannipata is just the association of adanta anga and bhis pratyaya so adanta angasya bhis pratyayasya sannipata asti सन्निपातम आश्रित्य अतोभिस ऐस इति सूत्रम प्रवर्तते अतः अयम विधि सन्निपात लक्षण विधि इदानीम ऐस आदेशे कृते वंस यू हैव द ऐस यू आर यूजिंग दिस ऐस टू ब्रेक द संबंध संबंध नाशः कथम संबंध नाशः ऐस आदेशम आश्रित्य वयम जरसादेशम कुर्मः चेत जराया जर संतर निर्जरस्वतीमत्र अदंत अंगं नदंतांगंस्प्रत्यय अनयो सन्नीत आश्रित प्रवृत्त सन्नीत लक्षण विधि अतोभिस ऐस इदानीम ऐसादेशम निमित्त यू आर् प्योरली रिलयिंग ऑन ऐस टू ब्रेक द ओरिजिनल association <coughs> if ais weren't there you cannot touch this right so ais is dependent on the sannipata now you are using ais to break the sambandha sannipata vighata vighatah nashah ityarthah atah sannipata lakshanah vidhihi atobhisa ais will not allow itself to be used to break the sambandha that is what it means very very briefly sannipata lakshanah vidhihi sannipata vighatasya nimittam na bhavati 
so ata of his eyes does not want to be the cause for breaking the sambandha of adanta anga and bhis pratyaya shastriya bhashaya vadamaha chet adanta anga bhis pratyaya sannipatam aashritya pravrittaha aisadesha jarasadesha dwara by giving rise to jarasadesha tat sannipata vighatasya karanam na bhavati it will not lead to breaking that sannipata <coughs> is what it means it's a uh, very very uh, you know subtle paribhasha there are a lot of exceptions to the paribhasha it is an anitya paribhasha but that is how we defend so jarayaha jarasanyatarasyam will apply only when the original pratyaya itself is ajadi not when it is replaced by an adesha which is ajadi atra samapayamaha antima udghoshana asti the term one exam okay so between march 18th and 20th will be the first term exam so there will it will consist of multiple choice questions for 70 marks and written portion for 30 marks okay <coughs> so for a total of 100 marks you will have the exam it will include the three chapters chapters 1 2 and 3 okay so whether you want to take it as an open book or closed book is your choice for a shastra it is recommended that you try to do it closed book because pustaka sthatu ya vidya parahastagatam dhanam karyakale samutpanne na sa vidya na tad dhanam iti subhashitam asti so at least the concepts and terminologies should be in your head is the expectation but we also know there are many you know senior citizens and aged people who are attempting it purely out of passion so if you need some reference it's your choice finally <coughs> it is you who can decide what is the best for you right so that is choice this exam is compulsory for certification okay if you want to complete the course academically and get a certificate the exam is compulsory so we have almost a month so please prepare well and uh, more details i'll tell later okay so if any more questions how exactly to take etc will all come the only reason i wanted to tell today was to make sure you have enough notice to prepare ಯೇನಾಕ್ಷರ ಸಾಮನಾಯ ಅಧಿಗಮ್ಯ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಪಾಣಿನೇ ನಮಃ ವಾಕ್ಯಕಾರ ವರರುಚಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಪಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರಕಾರ ಪ್ರಣತಸ್ ಮುನಿತ್ರಯ ನಾ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ದೇವಿ ಶುದ್ಧ ಗುಣ್ಯಾಂ ಕರೋಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯ ಪ್ರವೇಶಾ ಲಘು ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಕೌಮುದೀ ದಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಲೆಸನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಮೋರ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಡನ್ ಏಟ್ each chapter is roughly equivalent so we have 12 lessons or 12 videos in each so we have just four more in this chapter <clears throat>